no matter what computer I get, no matter what phone I get, I know if I can get to Google, I can get to everything. So the learning curve is actually much less on this. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need that. You can download everything, upload it to your drive, and call it a day. Say Dropbox folder. Yes. How hard is it to, uh, I guess, transfer your, your current email server set up to the system? It takes about 15 minutes. Yeah. Just creation of each email account. You got good nerds in here. So it's yeah. it's a, not, not Gmail account. So it's creation of your Google Apps account, and your web hosting provider needs to point what's called your MX, MX records and A records at your new device. MX and a records. A records? All we do is put a little bit of code on the You website. don't have to do anything. If you yeah. have a good company, you just say, I want to sign up with G Suite, so you go sign up. You give them your login and password, and they take care of it. And yeah. you don't have to worry about that. So we got we, I, you just share your <laughs> I would never tell one of my sucks. contractors how to go <laughs> to that kind of stuff. Like I said, this list is only, if you don't use us, you're going to need everything in this <laughs> document. So, other than that, we'll make it easy. Okay. So, can you say that one more time until, until uh, you give me a, um, a price and a contract and I sign over with you guys. In the meantime, I got this other, <laughs> I got this other person I got to notify. <laughs> how do I get on G Suite? Whatever. So, how you get on G Suite? Yeah, all you're going to do is you're going to go. Tell them I want to set up a G Suite. No, just go here and go to step one. Okay. Okay, and then scroll down to email hosting and click on the link that says start a free trial. We have it set up with discounts right out of the gate. Just click on this, start your free trial. Okay, everything in your book is also right here. So it's all in the same place. This is just a hot link that's going to take you right there to sign up, walk you through the instructions. They will give you a four-digit PIN so you can make your administrator okay. us or whoever your agency is, and they can just go in and do what they need to. Is this marketing budget thing that you had up earlier in the investment breakdown, is that in this book? No, that is not in the book. Good question. Okay, so let's just do a quick recap, see where we are. So under website and branding, um, websites. Okay, does everyone in here have a professionally designed logo? Yes? Okay. No? Okay, you need a, you need a logo. That's part of your website. We were just, just created one on my computer. One of my great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's secure. That's true. If you want to get your logo, um, they've got on the web people Make an offer put out, I'll give somebody 200 bucks. That's how I got mine. And I got it designed. So, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I don't, you don't need to use us. I mean, we'll do it for free because we, we want you to have a nice looking website and it's hard to make a nice website look good with an ugly logo. Um, but that is, a, you have to be careful of that. That is a huge scam. So people are reselling and hawking people's live logos. When a lawsuit comes in that says you've stolen my brand, we've had six companies go out of business for that. So be yeah. very careful. So wait, those are brand, brand those business. are protected. Yes, yeah. you need, when you have somebody design a logo, you don't want to take anything, you can't go use clip art, <laughs> you can't go pick a picture off of the internet, you can't make Tilly Willy the, <laughs> the little penguin, you can't go get the guy with the hat and the wrench, you can't do any of that. You need someone to draw a logo and then render it into a PSD file so that you have proof that it's your trademark, your brand, your your brand mark. In, let me go, hang on. I'm not saying that that happened with you. I'm just saying be careful. Okay. Um, <laughs> gosh. Uh, yes, uh, certified heating and air conditioning happened to them. Um, AC, comfort. AC comfort happened to them. 
Um, I mean, I, I can go one and one after, and you're talking all their trucks have to be redone. They have to close down their business. They have to reopen with a new brand, new name, new everything. That's not a good, oh, not a good. Um, speaking of scams, has anybody ever received a phone call from Google? Did they call you from Google and say they saved a page one position for you? Or saved a page one, right? Not yet? All the time? Okay, yeah. Google will never call you. Those are also scams. Yes, scams. Anybody calls you and says, do me a favor, can you verify the last four digits of your social security number? Scam. Can you tell me your address? Scam. When's your, what year were you born? Scam. All of, scam, scam, scam. Be scared of everyone. Um, branding, 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 branding. Okay. Wow, I skipped the whole thing. Page 11. Um, page 11 is your branding piece, okay? So you have word mark, those are the letters. Brand mark is the icon and, and image, like a, a guy, a can see word. You have word mark, brand mark. Um, favicon is the tiny little thing up here that should be on every side. I don't want to see stuff like this, this blank page. A favicon is a tiny version of your logo. Your logo should be designed, you, when you when somebody does a logo for you, you should get a file that has it on a white background, it on a black background, it has a vector format, it has a favicon, it has a mobile version of your logo, it has the icon only, has the words only, has an acronym only. You should get a whole bunch of different versions. Web version, because printing something on a shirt is totally different than printing it on a piece of paper, it's totally different than putting it on a sign, it's totally different than rendering out on a mobile responsive retina display website. Okay, that's the list of everything you should have when it comes to a logo, branding. Um, if you're getting a average logo design, something that doesn't, it's more words, um, it doesn't have, you know, a unique icon like a bulldog or something, then um, you might spend like 400 bucks. If you get a hand artist to draw you a logo, and then you render it, then you might spend like $1,000 to $1,200. If you go to a branding agency, you will spend $20,000 on whiteboards and garbage, and they will talk to you about how it makes you feel for like 18 hours of meeting. Kim sat on one of these with an ad agency for many, many years ago with me. <laughs> you gotta be some things you just gotta be down and dirty let's get it done let's make sure we're legal okay so that's step one um branding step one website here are the options so i'm gonna go to goodman website plans okay these are the structured sites here are the options there is a landing page, a single page website, one page, no good for SEO, great if you're gonna drive ads to it, or if you're right out of the gate and you need something to put on that business card, that works. It's $500 one time, $50 a month. For a basic site or an advanced site, this website is identical. There is no difference in between them. The only difference is on your current site, this is, we will transfer 25 pages, um, up to 25 pages from your current site. This is, we'll transfer up to 100 or more. So if you have a bigger website right now and we need to go create a big spreadsheet and figure out how to transfer, so the, in this room we only have one. So you would be an advanced site, everyone else in here is basic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, unless we want to go slicing and dicing some pages. <laughs> okay, so the difference in cost, it's $1,500 for basic and $75 a month, so $1,500 is one time, or $2,500 and $100. What is the monthly fee given? So the monthly fee is your hosting, maintenance, SSL certificates, help desk support, backups on a daily basis on hold on your dev server, updates to your plugins, theme, the life support I told you about earlier. Um, uh, yeah, an account executive and so forth. So it's, yep, yeah, you can add as much as you want. Yes. Marketing. Yeah, you're not, this is, this is just a website. This is not content writing. 
It's we're going to take the, what you have on your site, whatever content is usable, we're going to transfer it to the new site. You're going to get a brand new site. It's the Goodman site with all the bells and whistles that are inside of it. Is this, is this SEO or no? no? Kind of. Kind of. We're going to label everything right from the beginning. Sometimes that just works. Is it full-blown SEO with link building and we're optimizing every page and interior links and all your metadata optimization? No. That's that, mark that would be in marketing. Yeah. Marketing yeah. Marketing yes. Yes. Um, is every page labeled correctly from day one? Absolutely. So we have a lot of clients we launch a brand new site for if they're in a low competition market and their page is ranking without having to pay for any marketing services. Um, Tom's Heating and Air Conditioning, best example. He's got a 300 page website. He's on page one of Google for every page on his whole site. He's never spent a penny with us on marketing. It's a great testimonial. What about content? So, Inside the site, what we've done is Goodman has a huge ma um, volume of assets that we can use. Pictures, graphics, videos, product <coughs> images, product descriptions, things that are not text. Our websites are pre-built with everything that's in Goodman's back office and portal that they make um, available to you guys, but you guys don't log in and use any of those assets ever. You know, I've never met one dealer that's actually logged in and used anything in any of the portals that are available. <laughs> Anyone in here? That's how I saw this uh, webcast as an example for it. Uh, you're in the portal. <laughs> okay, you're in the portal. That's good. We're into webinars. That, even that yeah. doesn't happen. I do webinars every single you month. Yes. Do one on social media webinars, maybe something like that, but just educate people on that whole Absolutely. Absolutely. Does it only show the Goodman logo and Goodman equipment on it? Yes, it does. So you have two options. You can do the Goodman branded site, which has a lot more content because we have all the Goodman products and everything in there. And you can put on there, we service and, um, we service and repair all makes, models, and brands. Uh, I, I was thinking about uh, die kits. Like oh, no, no, yeah. Die, you can absolutely, for your duck list and whatnot, you can absolutely yeah. have Daikin on there. Absolutely. So now for PLP, are you guys private label, Franklin private label, your own brand on the equipment? Uh, Okay, so for you guys, you're gonna go down and you're gonna go Franklin Private Label Plan. It's same technology, same structure, different products, different content and so forth that's on there, but same structure, same price. Doesn't cost you any more, okay? The next scale up, so you guys, your next scale at some point is going to be some version of an e-commerce system, okay? At some point, you're gonna have, even if it's not e-commerce, you're not necessarily selling equipment straight off the internet, but at least featuring all the different products, getting found in search engine optimizing for product names, manufacturer um, names, SKUs, and so forth, and eventually selling accessorial equipment off the internet, having monthly subscriptions for your maintenance plan, that is already built as well, and we're working closely with Goodman to develop um, uh, connectivity to their PIM program to be able to have all of their products already pre-built in there. That's a whole different ballgame. Now you go from having a 100-page website to a 300-page website to a 3,000-page website. Totally different ballgame. That's when stuff really gets fun. Okay, but scale in one piece at a time. <laughs> Not necessary right now. It is an option. Um, Initially, we had 2,500 investments. Yep. And then we have 6,000, and 6,000 still the same coming from. This is e-commerce. Yeah, so is that for initial investment, is that still, even if we were moving up? Moving nope, up? you just pay the difference. If oh. you're moving from this site to this site, you just pay the difference. Okay. okay. Um, also, for refreshing these sites, every two years, you get a new website. So every two years, we're launching new versions of this every day. So when we launch your site 30 days from now, six months from now, we already have a new version. So every 18 to 24 months, you have a new version of this website. You can choose from any of our available designs. So right now, these are the design options we have. So, so yep, yeah. and they're pretty. We spend a lot of time on them though. So here's one. You know what the layout is gonna be, the structure, the content, graphics, images, and colors change to match yours. Another example. Oh, 
That's an e-commerce example for PLP. Another design. Did you do e-commerce um, for productizing your um, services? I mean, you come from the product background, so everything you have is every the maintenance of your actual product and your product manager, so logo, yeah, um, and things like that. Absolutely, so that can. can be, and they can go right online and purchase it. Yep. Or with a credit card schedule and everything. Yep. You have this, Jim. You're so smart. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I love ladies. <laughs> she, she's got you pegged. <laughs> Didn't work out so well. So this gives you guys different examples. Um, and we're in the process of building a bunch of small mobile sites, kind of mini sites as well, and testing those, you know, full sites versus mini sites, what's working better. Um, these are all mobile first sites so as you shrink the site down 12 inch tablet 10 inch tablet 7 inch tablet phone so they're all mobile first we designed all of the sites on a mobile for mobile first and then they stretch from there okay so you're never gonna have to squint and stretch it they look good on a mobile phone Yeah, anything. So a absolutely anything and everything. This The way this site is constructed can hold thousands of pages, thousands of pieces of information without it feeling weighted or looking too crazy. Still is going to remain clean, fast loading. We don't have a bunch of garbage in there. I mean, the biggest benefit is, is, is this is what we've been partnering with Goodman on for the last six months, developing something that where we're not building a custom car every time someone wants a new website that takes us eight months to get it done working with you and then we only have a year of good time using it, right, before it's done. That's, um, right now the timing sounds bad because it's beginning of April and season's really starting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys are going to disappear. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend anybody does a custom site because then we have to talk about design. So, normally what happens on a custom site is I can't tell you how long it's going to take until you approve your design. So, if it takes you six weeks to approve your design, we go back and forth and back and forth and pick out every little thing. Absolutely, it's good for this because it takes us 30 days and we don't need your help. <laughs> this right, is. This is not, you're never going to go backwards. So when we launch this, we're taking everything you already have that's ranking and reconstructing it inside this site, plus all the new things that are in there, you'll, you won't go anywhere but up. The second we launch sites, every single website we launch performs better from day five that it's on the internet than day one. I mean, than before we launched, every one of them. And it's, it's taken us. Would a, be like, say, after summer, you want to do a custom site, same thing with that transition, too, right? Yeah, if you want to do a custom site. I, so, say they launched this I website. I don't care about a custom site, I just want a site that works. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You keep the same web address. Yes, you keep your domain name, you keep the same domain name. Well, all the little things that I went over, is it secure? Do you have a 301 redirects? All those things, you don't have to worry about any of that. That all is automatic with the new site. That's just what we, what we do. Um, as far as launching this, it doesn't matter when you launch it, as long as you launch it. You need to do it the sooner the better. The longer those pages exist, the better they're going to rank. So option for you guys, okay? Least expensive way to do this. Because if you're starting from scratch, um, if you go down to lease, my left hand does not work today. If you go down to lease, it costs $175 a month. You do not own the website for two years. That means you can't cancel and then bounce and take your website somewhere else. So you just stick for two months. It costs you $175 a month. 
and you always have a new website every two years. You have all the same benefits. You can choose from any one of the designs. Um, we're not transferring content because there's nothing to transfer. You're starting out of the gate. But you start off right out of the gate, you'll have a new website in 14 to 20 days. Okay? I mean, it doesn't cost you a fortune. So, yes? Oh, so if we do the, the I think it's a basic where it's 25 pages transfer. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm up drinking coffee and I want to write some content, I just forward it to you guys to plug into those other pages. You can log in. They'll teach you how to log in and add the page. Oh. So it's as simple as this. Um, on your guys' website, yeah, I want to be able to do that too. so you have two options. You're either paying for an admin plan, a website administrator, and our team is doing it for you, or you can log in and add the page. Okay. Um, right? Yep, they're all WordPress. They're all built in WordPress, so once you log in, it's like a dollhouse. I'm looking at the front of the site. I can turn around and log into the back. I can go to pages and say add new, or I can click add new from here. If I want to add a new page, I give it a title. I put my content in here just like Word. Add all my text. You can add media. I can add an image. I can add a video. Anything I want into the page, and all you do is hit publish. Now, if you're on an SEO plan, you send us the link to that page. We optimize the page and try and get it ranked for you. Okay. All right. Now, I don't want to keep that. Same thing with blog posts, media, files. You can add all your images in there. You can add galleries in there. You can do everything inside the back office of that site. Or you can have our team do it. But there's a cost associated with it. So it's 75 bucks an hour. Um, and you can, what takes you 30 minutes to do takes our team four minutes. So... <laughs> Um, but at some point it'll become, you know, do you want to do it yourself or do you want to not? I, I think everyone should know how to use the back office of their website. Um, I think we probably have 10% who do. <laughs> Absolutely. So on CI Web Group, there is a, um, a knowledge base here where you can search for anything. There's tons of videos, how to do things um, that's already built in into the site as well. All right, so your website, if you're brand new out of the gate, if it was me, I wouldn't go spend $1,500 if I don't have to. You can get 15 pages of content if you need or, or do a few months of marketing, something like that. I wouldn't go spend it. I would do the 175 and then Use money for something else, okay? Um, now, so from a budgeting standpoint, brand new out of the gate, one seventy-five a month. Plus, if you have your email hosting, you're looking at ten dollars per email account. That's where you start off, okay? Then move to basic site. Um, doesn't matter if it's PLP or Goodman. Basic site, fifteen hundred seventy-five. Advanced site, twenty-five hundred a hundred. Okay, that's hosting, maintenance, security, all the things. And then um, we're rebuilding that website every two years as well and putting it into the newest theme. At that point, you get a little design upgrade because our designs get better over time as well. It does not. You do not have to pay for a new website again. Okay. Um, this is, thank Goodman. Thank goodness for Goodman. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, now, um, yes, will you, I need a Goodman, Goodman team, Bye. and, um, Franklin, one of you do Franklin, say that again, okay, all right, so, budget, next budget, <clears throat> Content. So um, my recommendation is we've covered this. This is $100 per page. Don't do it. It's not necessary right now. You're going to need it, just not yet. If you can write the content in-house, that is even better. I mean, interview whoever you work with. 
that's way better. If we write it, we're, we write for SEO. I'm not saying it's bad, it's good for Google, but it has nothing to do with your actual business. It's just for Google, okay? Um, for you guys, this one, Page Builder. Page Builder is $100 a month, and that is we're adding 100% of all the service pages that you have, and we're monitoring the ranks. We're not doing link building or adding content, but we're at least adding 100% every, so your store is going to contain one page for every service you sell from that checklist that I showed you earlier. For everyone else, Link Builder is where I would start based on what I've seen of everybody's sites. You guys all need backlinks. It's $300 a month. That's going to be building 100, it takes us three months to build 100% of all the pages. So during summer, if you did start now, during summer, you're going to have new content that's showing up on that site all summer long. So in Google's mind, it's not a blog post that says, when should I repair my air conditioning system? Those are, those are way down the line, important, but not right now. Right now, having everybody have one page for what they want to sell in a city they want to sell it is way more important than a, a blog post talking about hypothetical things that are general in nature. Uh, Jen, we've got uh, Green Dog Energy. Oh, Green Dog. Green Dog. Energy. Is it Green Dog AC is their main site? What's their actual website? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that, that's their website. They're not lying to that. Green Dog Energy. Okay, so they don't have a website at all. This would be what your guys' site would look like if you're coming to the table with zip, zero, zilch, with nothing. So this was built from just the round They used the main template, so they didn't use any of those other designs that I showed you. Um, ground up. They don't have a current website right now. And this is a one-person shop. Franklin, say that again. That's uh, so. This is also a template. This is design two. Design two. Size of company? Do you know? Pretty small. <laughs> a couple, couple people. So I mean the the. Yeah, the beauty is um, you can't tell if this is a one-person shop or a 20-person shop. Yeah. You really like that review of Tom Woolman. Yeah, and you'll notice that's on all our sites. We don't have one website that doesn't have that on there unless we've we got in an argument and lost. No, I love that. So, and it takes them right to... Re give you a review mm -hmm. right then. And yeah. The, and the website's going to have all the schema markup that mm -hmm. shows the five stars. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you'll, all of our sites have every one of the mobile first requirements, all of the bells and whistles. It's in all of them, no matter what. If you have a $175 site, $1,500 or $2,500, they all have the same. That, that we can spend mass amount of time perfecting one engine and then giving it different outfit. Instead of having to build you an engine and then you a separate one, which is what we always used to do. And we're done doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you get a new outfit. <laughs> so yeah, we just it's like playing dress up. <laughs> we can afford uniforms now. Exactly. Man, I'll t I tell I, f I have to apologize to everybody we built a custom site for because man, it's a horrid process. It's grueling for you guys. It's grueling for us. It's just so, so the link builders, the three hundred modules, and then the SEO. Kind of. So it depends. I don't know. So what? Um, so yes, a piece of it is search engine optimization. So the things that are SEO predecessors is. I can't optimize something you don't have a page for, so I gotta have a page for what you wanna sell. And backlinking is required for SEO in a more competitive area, which the Houston marketplace is competitive, so you need link building here. 
Um, technically, you're on your way to SEO. You're on your way. So now do you have an, another package that says SEO? Yep, we're done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that would be phase one is get your website and your email set up. Then and get your growth plan and link building started. Those are fundamentals. Do I have a page in my store for every service I want to sell? And on my building backlink so Google knows other websites like me. Okay? I know it's down the road yep. uh, in your presentation, but <laughs> how important is going to be uh, doing the social media, right? like LinkedIn? I put a lot of information on LinkedIn. So here's how important it is. It's step six. Step six. Yes. So let me just roll through this and then I'm going to, I'll pause there for a second. Okay, so I have a good website in place. I have one page for every service I want to sell, which means I have one product in a store, which makes sense, right? I'm building links to try and get my domain authority up. Now, can I convert? So conversion systems. You need them all, but we'll start off with forms, okay? Web forms are included on your website as a part of your monthly. And it's inside our CRM system. Okay, it's kind of a free version of it. Eventually, I need to turn on online scheduling. So Misty call, Calls AC um, is here in this area, and um, she uses it better than anybody. She's a monster. She's, she's really good at it. What this is, this... And this is the same piece of technology. It's just a paid version versus a free version. So on our site and all our sites, you're going to see this here, whether it's our website or whether it's a client's website. And by the way, all our sites come Spanish speaking as well, so they can translate in between Spanish and English, the websites. Um, so they're using the version that's included in their website to start, which doesn't have a cost associated. It's just part of their monthly. Okay, this allows people to submit a web form here, and this form goes into a CRM system, so all the data is in one database that you can tag, sift, sort, and later, later you can turn on online scheduling. So the difference is, uh, call what is, what's Call's website? How do you spell it? K H A L A C. Okay. A. H L A C. Okay. K A L H C. K H A L A C. K H A L A C. dot com. K A L. No, no, Excuse me. No, no. A H L. A C H. A C H. Okay. Oh, we'll just we'll just Google them. Okay. So um, they are not just using the forms. They've upgraded to the next version. Um, I think this costs fifty nine dollars a month, and they have scheduling. So it doesn't just say call. Now they have an online scheduling system completely tied into their Google uh, Maps, or excuse me, their Google Calendar. So on the sales side of the business, if I go to the website at midnight, I can schedule 15 minutes for somebody to call me um, tomorrow at 3 or 4.30, put in my information, and you now have an appointment on your, your calendar when you wake up in the morning to call them for a 15-minute discussion to talk about the installation of a new air conditioner. So it allows somebody to do business with you while you sleep. That's what that's for. Okay, this system has an inbox. This is the back office of the CRM, CRM system, an online scheduling system, which every... Um, single request that comes in, comes in as an appointment request, follow-up messages. 
So if um, a request comes in, you can accept the message. You can mark it as a no-show. They can reschedule it. You can see all of your requests in one location. You can see all of the appointments. This is your Google calendars all tied into your scheduling system. So if I want to see everybody's calendar, same functionality I have in my Google calendar, I have inside the scheduling system. Some people are using this for dispatching as well, not just sales calls, but they're also using it for dispatching. It's a simple system. This is gonna keep track of every single human being that has ever dealt with your website. So all your leads and opportunities and customers and everyone is in here. You can tag them for any tags that you want. You can say um, you quoted them and they signed, you quoted them and they didn't sign, they're on a maintenance agreement, they're not on a maintenance agreement. You can tag them for any group or campaign list you want. You can also take payments online. So if you struggle or need, Anyone who's ever interacted with your website and filled out a form or a scheduling request is inside the system. They're all inside. Okay. You do have the ability to send out estimates, invoices, um, and receive payments online. So you can allow people to make payments right on your website via a pay button. Yes? You, so QuickBooks, um, effectively, are you QuickBooks online or offline? Offline. So if you were online, <laughs> if you were online, QuickBooks has a batch integration process with your merchant account or your bank. So it's going to download a batch transaction. It's going to upload it. So if you took the money here, the money goes through here, processes through Stripe, hits your bank account. QuickBooks online has a batch import and it imports all of your uh, line items so you can match and drop all of your invoices versus receivables. Make sense? If it's offline, that's just, that's. <laughs> Does your accountant tell you that you cannot go online or that he can't go online or she? No, we're just real cheap. And we're like, I'm going to pay one time. And, uh, so that's what we did. So, we ended up from a couple years ago. And uh, we're like, we're starting to consider going with QuickBooks Online. It's, I, think it's like, anyway. I think it's like 35 bucks a month, and it is worth it. I mean, everybody can pay online. You can collect huge, very important. You now have complete access to all your financials from anywhere, any computer. You can log in, log out. Doesn't. How are you asking me about security and you're using QuickBooks offline? I'm just kidding. Yeah, but I mean, really, who's going to want to your financials on vacation anyway? I would die. I couldn't imagine not having access to. I mean. Yeah, Our company, we all have to be able there, to see. There's a difference between uh, your cloud access into your QuickBooks, and that functions like a desktop that you access it through a cloud, like in sync or something like that. Then there's an online version of QuickBooks. It's 35 bucks a month. If, if you're doing a renewal, I wouldn't say go online. We just redid that, and then we pretty quickly moved up and went into the um, cloud version of where we could access it. You just add and it looks like a desktop version. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of functionality with the online version, from what I found. Super easy access, though. And, so. then, and then it comes back to where is the integration in that, because now you're telling us that it's not. So it is, in it, so it, uh, online, I mean, it, it's a batch. It's an import. It runs on its own. You don't have to worry about it. So you have all of your transactions come into your QuickBooks account every day. You can mm -hmm. integrate with anything. It, it connects with your merchant account. So you can take a payment through any third party. So um, online, your payment systems are called gateways. So Intuit is a gateway. Um, Stripe is a gateway. PayPal is technically a gateway. They just take money and process it through your merchant account, which is your bank, and your bank then uploads to your QuickBooks account. So you, all your transactions are in one location, usually in a batch, okay? Um, on QuickBooks Online, if you use Intuit, then it takes the data and it shows you by line item, so it's not just one batch import for us. We have 300 receivables come in in one day, so if they say the total deposit was 10,000, that might make up 60, that would kill us. We have to see every single line item, so you probably same thing. 
Um, okay, so it's just a way you can take money. You also, now here's the benefit. On all these sites, if I've ever interacted with this site, your customers and prospects who come to this site now have an account. They can click on my account, and if they've ever, ever dealt with this, then it's automatically going to know who they are. So on here, if I go to... I've never dealt with my, okay, so here, if I go to my account, I I don't do business with myself. Kathy will have to show you. But essentially, if, if I have scheduled on my own site, then I would have an account. I could see all my appointments I've ever had with you. I can see all of our conversations back and forth. I can see all my documents and files. So what happens here is these documents, any... Um, one of your prospects could come to the site and they could upload five pictures of their system for you. You can see those pictures in their site. You could um, put a copy of their quote, their proposal, their warranty information, their maintenance agreement in your site. All you do is upload it to there. Then when they come back to your website, everything is in one place. So they have a My Documents area where they can see everything that's in there. So that will tie your customers to you like this. They can access all proposals, quotes, documents, warranty, maintenance agreement, before and after pictures, um, maintenance things, how to take care of things. You can create, the beauty is you can create 10 Google Drive documents that say how to prep your you know, pipes for winter, I don't know, how to, <laughs> all these little great to do things and put them all in their drive and say here's your package. So. Instead of just giving them a bunch of paper you have to print, give them a reason to bookmark your site and say everything is in one place. You don't even have to hunt for it. This is through, this is through your CRM system that's on, the, on your website. So the, all of this, everywhere you see these call to actions, what we do different than most companies is I'm not going to put a form on your website that allows a hacker to submit some crap straight to your website database or server. And I don't want any contact information going into your email accounts and never making it to a database because you're relying on a human. I don't trust people that much. I want it in a database I can sift, I can sort, I can tag them because in the future, what I want to do is turn on the next version of this, which is the marketing, and I can create announcements. I can create text messages. I can create birthday messages. I can create um, customer reactivations. New customer welcome. I can send via text. I can send via email. As long as they're in this system, I've got a quick way to be, be able to communicate. If I've got you know cars in the driveway and I need to get them out, I can go create a campaign um, through the system that says, uh, hey, we're doing a tune-up special um, for $69.99. We'll come out to your house. First 10 people sign up here. And they can schedule it right online, send it to the system, done. Yes? That brings me back to my original question on how what's the ease of Google Docs. You know, you, you say all those things are on Google Docs and then you want me to transfer them into there. But it always seems to have the hindrance of me having to go download every last thing on my computer and then rename it and then upload it somewhere. Can you just drag it over? You can drag, but I mean, you don't even need to. You can drag. I mean, just e everything folders. originates from yeah, something. Folders. So if you've got, you know, a bunch of pictures in your download folder, those so folders. most, I think it's the reverse. So all the stuff that's sitting on your computer, taking up space, upload it to the drive and delete it off your computer. Then you can switch computers and you can get to it from wherever you want. If once it's in the drive and you want to share it, you just send the public shareable link to whoever you want to see it. And if they want to download it, they can. But you don't have to download everything anymore. If you just go to the link and use it, whatever you need. Yeah, well, what you're saying is that the stuff that's on our drive needs to be on there in order to, like, basically our invoices, our service agreements, our checklist of you know whatever it is. two different two different things so two different them. two different things one is a marketing and client retention tool so on a website 
if you're able to tell your customers, hey, we went ahead and shot all those documents um, to you, which you have to email them something anyway. So you emailed them through the CRM system. You're giving them a reason to bookmark the site and say, in your account, you can go back to your documents and you can get access to anything that I showed you so it's not in your messy email account or in the box under your bed. So I'm trying to create a connection between my clients and my website. I need them to have a reason to bookmark my site. I need them to stay off of Google. So that's one aspect is customer retention is, will I take an extra step and put the documents so that the client, my clients can get access to them on the website? Absolutely, because that makes it a heck of a lot easier. Now, as far as Google Drive versus servers, that's totally different. That's an operating decision. You gotta decide, do you wanna operate on machines or do you wanna operate in you know, billion dollar cloud? And do you want to turn things on and off? Or do you want to transfer physical assets from one place to another? So totally up to you. I'm all about, I want simplified though. <laughs> I want it easy. I want to be able to toss this computer tomorrow and I don't care. I'm up and running tomorrow morning at five because all I had to do was log in and all my documents are in the same folders, in the same files, right where I had them the morning before, even though I crushed my computer with my car or my high heels, <laughs> which has both happened. Or yes, oh. or drop, now I've dropped my phone in the lake at least a dozen times, I have witnesses. So you have the, your clients that have gone through and scheduled on your website. Yep. What about your people that are already existing in your database that you already have? So you can upload the entire list into the system and then you can send them out an email and say, hey, just wanted to let you know we have a new cool tool. It makes it easier to schedule. Come to our website and you can click on this to schedule appointments with us. So just upload the whole list. It's a database. So the beauty is it's not email. You can import, you can import an Excel file right into the system. Everybody's in the system and you're ready to go. Then if I want to um, send out a notice, so I can create a quick notice. This is, um, this is Kathy using it for our own business. And she said, time to make it happen. Let's schedule time to train. She sent out the information. She put a button for people to schedule training with her. Put in a little picture. Um, OK, hang on a second. Which one? This? Oh, so oh, you did it for him. That's very cool. So also, um, inside our CRM, you guys have a ton of different emails. Kathy's already created for you um, that are already built into the campaign system from the day you launch the system. So if what are like holidays? And give yeah, holidays, um, maintenance yeah. reminder, tune-up reminders. We've already built that and keep keep adding into it. So those all those campaigns. Um, the great part is, is when you send this campaign, um, you can say, do you want to send it via text or email or both? And it's going to keep track of. So everyone you happen to have mobile numbers for and everyone you happen to have emails for, it's going to hit them both at the same. It'll hit them in either way. Okay. Um, and it'll show you all your percentage. This is not a full-blown e uh, email marketing system. It's just a simple way to get small pieces of information out to your database. Um, but what I've noticed is everybody that has a constant contact or a MailChimp, they don't use it. They just pay for it monthly and they're not very good at using it. I want to stress something too. During your mm -hmm. slow times, your office crew that's like the model customers, the ones that converted, great. But what about the ones that quit? They may have got a phone call, got interrupted, and so I would have my office team call the people that quit. Why not? That's the one way through. They were interested. They were interested yep. enough to quit. So um, <laughs> this shows your delivery history um, and so forth. So uh, long story short, this whole system is this is the free version, forms only, and you have a CR, light CRM in a database. It holds up to 300 people. That's perfect to start. Upgrade to the $59. Now you have the CRM system. You have online scheduling system. Plus you have the email marketing system and you're everything in the days.
and up to three users. Then that's fifty nine ninety nine a month. And it, does that hold more than three hundred? And it hold yeah, it's unlimited then. Once you have a paid subscription, then it's unlimited. If the fifty nine one is uh, two thousand. Up to two thousand. Okay. Contacts. Yeah, I think eighty dollars is the next one. There's plenty. There's we've never had anyone that has had room issues, and we've got big list in there. Um, next call tracking system. Okay, so any and every marketing thing that you do needs to be measured. The best way to do that is through a call tracking system. For this system, it's based on the number of lines. So you can buy one line at a time for 12 bucks. You have a unique phone number that tracks all of your calls. Then it's 10 bucks a line um, if you're doing four or more. And you can choose what number you want. It doesn't matter. This is an example. Um, essentially, we put a phone number, a special number, on every activity we do. So on your website, that tracks your SEO. On your landing pages, that tracks your pay-per-click dollars. If you do a TV ad, that'll track your TV ad. Radio commercial, that tracks your radio commercial. Google business listing, that tracks your Google business listing. Local marketing. So every single thing that you're investing money in, you can track how many leads came in via uh, web forms and online scheduling. How many clicks did we get from every activity that we do? So essentially what'll happen is the phone number, or the phone comes in, it's going to whisper to you where Thanks the... Thanks for calling Smith Plumbing and Heating. This is Kaylee speaking. How may I help you? Yes, ma'am. What are y'all located next to you when they're on North Friday? So it's going to record the entire call. Um, we've, we've had scenarios where an owner may be wondering how come they're not converting, why are they not seeing as much business as they should, and we'll go listen to the calls, and it's because someone's picking up the phone and eating a bag of potato chips saying, AC... <laughs> just crazy stuff <laughs> we heard weird stuff um, sometimes it's who's answering your calls how do they sound do they sound grumpy ticked from day one they woke up bad you know <laughs> we've heard weird stuff so a marketing everyone always wants to know what's my ROI well a marketing agency can only bring people to your front door I don't know if you have a welcome mat I don't know if you got a working doorbell if you're answering the door timely or wait until commercial <laughs> so this is gonna, that's a whole nother side of the business. This is gonna help. So you get an email every time you have a call. You get an email, plus it whispers to you and it tells you how, where the call came from. So this is PPC, PPC, SEO, PPC, PPC, PPC. These are all their pay-per-click campaigns. They're killing it on pay-per-click. So that's, every single phone number has a campaign attached to it. So we can track down to the marketing dollar, how we're spending the dollar and how it's working. So sometimes it's going to show pay-per-click's killing it. Sometimes it's going to show it's, it's not. So you can see every one of these. These guys are in Denver, Colorado. Very, very high competition, um, right smack in Denver. Uh, so they're starting with pay-per-click on all of their organic mm -hmm. ranking, or all of the organic rankings that they can't get. They need more time to get ranked for. And how are this thing affiliated with you? Is this one of your... It's our software. It's your software. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, so you subscribe to the software. Um, you start with one line and measure your results. Yes. And so is this phone number generated by you guys and then we put it on the website? Yep, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, okay, we'll yep. do that. But I was reading back to the question, you know, some people say when they, well, I guess in the day, that's how we look at that stuff. But it's like six months down the line, we don't have that campaign anymore. We don't they call that number and there's no way to get it. Is it uh, these gentlemen in the spring or? So. We appreciate that. We'll send somebody that. So that, that's really important when you're doing a lot of temporary advertising. Um, in our world, we tend to spend 90% of all of our energy on permanent marketing activities. So it's going to be there. Um, going to be there. If you moved your website somewhere else, keep paying for the phone lines. Keep the system. I mean, you can use a call tracking system even if you were to move your website to another agency. Yes. You can use your current phone number. Let's say he, has, he likes his phone number. And what have you. he wants to use that because everybody... You can, but I can't track it. So the only way you can track that is through Google AdWords. So, and it's 
You'd want to, yeah, pay-per-click. So in a pay-per-click campaign, I can't track it in here. I can't record the calls. This one would have to issue phone lines that are part of the, the um, voice technology that allows us to record the calls. So if we only want to hire you or start with that call tracking software with mm -hmm. you, not anything else, you can do that. Start with that, and it's independent of, it's not. Not required as a part of the website. Of the web. okay. Nope, absolutely not. one of your products. Yep, <laughs> yep. You can absolutely do that. And sometimes people want to measure what's working or what they got going on for their current campaigns. Absolutely can do that. Okay, so conversion systems. The fourth element for conversion systems we haven't talked about yet is the ability to chat. That is an AI chatbot. Um, we're on our version two, so we have a test one up right now. This is just an example. Um, an AI chatbot is essentially artificial um, intelligence chat that allows you to have somebody come to the website. They say, I want to chat. They'll say, uh, AC repair. And the chat, there's no human being behind it. It's just the chat saying, getting basic information to help you schedule an appointment. So for me, I'm all over this. I'm on my, I am a chat bot. I don't care if it's a robot. If it can understand enough, give me a link to figure out what I need and I don't have to talk to a human, amen. So that's what I like. So I didn't want to go to the scheduling system. I didn't want to make a phone call. It has my information. It says we're scheduling. Fantastic. I'll hear from you when I hear from you. It feels so more interactive. So in the background, um, a text message will go out and an email that will say, here's your information. Yep. You need to schedule this appointment. That's it. What we're working on in version two is really cool. Can you slow down the interaction Yeah. Yeah. You can. You can make it type slower. You can also make it audio so it talks to you. Um, uh, we all need to be careful because there are requirements legal. It's a law that our websites are supposed to be friendly for deaf and blind. Uh, and you can actually get sued if a deaf person comes to your website and you don't have certain things on there or a blind person comes to your site and you don't have any kind of audio. audio. Yep, they can sue you. So. I know you're I, I, you know, now we're, we're going to go way out. <laughs> That's fair. So they have, they have tools. So we're working on that because there's lawsuits where they've won. I mean, and they're out there. So we're working on different things that allow audio and Can you make the website Braille. to uh, dispatch software? Yes, absolutely. We have dispatch, yeah, absolutely. Um, Field Edge we've integrated with. So Field, Service Titan, M Help Desk. Yeah, we use Field Edge already. So not only Field Edge integration, we have Field Edge integration into our online scheduling system. We have Field Edge in <laughs> integration into our website and into our review system. Same thing with Service Titan. So all, everything is very, very connected and integrated. Everything talks to each other. What is it? Service do they have an open API? Do you know? If so, that's the only question: is if they have an open API and they'll allow us to connect, we got smart people to do it. <laughs> so, yes, we would be able to do that. Um, okay, so that's a chat bot, and the only final thing is is text messaging software, which we're working on as well. Uh, SMS. Those are your conversions. So so far. Do you have SMS? You do. Yes. We do have SMS. Um, in fact, you guys can sign up for it uh, as well. Just put in HVAC marketing website forward slash text and you can sign up from there. Um, and that's it's so all you do is go here and type in forward slash text T E X T and it'll uh, give you our little secret channel to sign up for our text messaging where we send out things you should know about events, trainings, webinars. Um, sometimes it'll be a flash promotion we only do for a day. We need to keep a designer busy, something like that. So you can sign up there. 
and I don't have it in the navigation because we just just for friends and family this all right um now so let me see if I can rattle this off from a budgeting standpoint for you guys 175 that's your monthly plus you have the free CRM version your next major investment would be um, the uh, growth plan in between 100 and 300 dollars a month and stay right there okay um, if you can add a ten dollar line for your call tracking do that that way you can track organic rankings okay the next version up um, you're looking so for basic and advanced websites your budget so far for all three of these if you start with entry level on each one you're around 375 400 a month is about where we're at okay next local marketing So, um, the way these break, break out, they're very different. Okay, local listing accounts, the top 70 local listing accounts. Um, where am I at? Let me go here. Okay, these are the top 70 local listing accounts and AI accounts. There's an entire list of them here. Um, this is Google Home, Alexa, Bing, Bixby, anything you're talking to. If you're talking to a device, it's in here. Your Google Business Listing, uh, your Google Maps, City Search, MapQuest, Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, um, and so forth, right? These accounts. This is Kim's baby. I know she just perked up and stopped multitasking. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, I'm waiting. Okay, I'm, now I'm being tested. Yep. <laughs> so um, I'm going to pull one report so you can get an idea. And correct me if I mislead anything. Yes, ma'am. So for this particular report, <laughs> here are 96 dealers, individual contractors. For each dealer, we set up on average 70 local directory accounts and AI listings. Okay, so for 96 dealers, we have set up 6,483 listings. New listings. New listings. Okay, when a dealer starts with us, I refer to them as DOA. They're all dead on arrival. No matter what. <laughs> They are paying another agency for even when somebody says oh yeah we invest in local marketing I have never actually seen a dealer come to the table even if it says they're subscribed with any significant traffic for their local marketing every single one of them starts off with absolutely squat as far as their rankings the reason is you guys will get sold on the fact that you have inaccuracies in your NAP data, which is name, address, and place, that need to be fixed, blah, blah, blah. So they'll sell you on a plan. It'll cost you $300 to $2,500 a month, and they'll tell you they're going to update it. They will go fix your listings, and they'll make sure your NAP data, name, address, and phone are accurate. What they will not do is what her and her team of minions do, which is actually get all those sites <laughs> to generate traffic and phone calls, which we're here to make money, not just make sure we look pretty, right? So this is the number of submissions of content that they publish out to all of these 6,400 sites. So they've done 132,000 posts out to all of those 6,483 directory listings. That is what converts into traffic traffic or having views being visible on the map and in organic search is what converts into people are asking for directions they're actually making phone calls they're actually placing clicks and we had the first hour where, where we hit over 900 phone calls for 96 dealers in one hour yes i get, I get a report like this for google uh, business let's see business. yep Get a bunch of people asking for 
I don't know. They're checking to see how far away you are. How soon can you get there? Location. Yeah. Uh, Emergency yeah. repair. Yeah. Distance. Yep. Yeah, it's if not that they're. If you're 30 minutes away, you're going to take 30 minutes plus however long to get over there. Because they don't really realize where the truck car. They just see where our office is. Yeah. Right, that's where the truck is coming from. Yep. <laughs> yes, because mm -hmm. this is only going to show up. These are only going to show up in the city you have a physical address. This does not work outside of the city you, ha you have a physical address. Mm -hmm. So this by itself, forget about your website, forget about anything else, independently is a money maker. So remember earlier I was saying, Kim was saying, the most important asset you have on the internet is your Google business listing. Make sure you own it, how to own it, it's free and everything else. Publishing content is what gets it visible. The more content we push out to it. So we use Goodman assets, we use Franklin assets, um, we'll use Daikin assets, videos and so forth. The best combination of this process is if you're on our Facebook marketing plan. Because as I mentioned earlier, if our Facebook graphics designers are designing those little squares that are promotions, don't forget to change your filter and it's time for maintenance and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and all of these other graphics that they make, that gives our local listing team assets they can use to really start publishing a ton of content out there. But otherwise it's kind of boring. They can use all the pages on your website. They can create product and service pages. Which, they can, which in turn means backlinking. Yes. This is all part of backlinking. So you, you, you're, I know you're oh, gun yeah. set on SEO. Yeah. Technically, all of I this see. is part of SEO. You know what I mean? Is like, SEO works really well when you get all this stuff right. Yes, right. Because it doesn't when you don't. No, SEO sucks rocks if all this yeah. stuff is broke. Yeah. No matter what you do, SEO, subscribe to SEO if your local listings are wrong, if they're not publishing new content, if your social media, um, site is boring, blah, no content. That means your trust rank, your everything Google, all the, the indices Google is looking at are all broke. So SEO in a website means nothing if these things aren't in place. That's why it's in order. So I don't bounce to SEO yet. By the time we get to SEO, we're 90% there. We've already done it. All right. So um, this works on its own. Now, in addition to that, they are also monitoring all of these local listings for duplicates and people trying to steal your, your accounts. So if somebody tries to set up an account using your brand name, you guys, I'm guessing in the room you have the, a brand that is most thievable <laughs> right now. So if somebody's trying to steal your brand name and put their phone number on it to make their phone ring, we catch them. So that's what these duplicate suppressants are. So it's not if it's going to happen. It happens all day, every day. These guys catch them. They suppress the listing. They're out. We just bump them out. Um, that's it. Is it that okay? Publisher edits, too. I can look it up. Okay. Got it? Okay, so there's also publisher edits. So if you have a live listing uh, that we're managing, um, it, even if you log into your Yelp account and you try to change your phone number, it's going to go back to the way I put it. Because everything that, every every listing that, that we have in there, I manage it. I give you an account, you can go in there and you can you can change it up, but um, it's it locks it to where no one can, can set up a duplicate, no one can make any edits, um, all of our photos get pushed out, things like that. It's, it's like a... A big data management system is what it is. It's awesome. Now, here's the, here's the con. Those are pros. Yep. Here's the cons. Um, the application we use is a system called Yext. You can sign up for Yext yourself. You can go sign it up. You can go read all their knowledge base. You can learn it. You can go publish all this stuff. You can go attempt to do all that. More power to you. So the here's the, it's a, it's a lot. I'll just say that. Here's the um, challenge. Don't ever sign up for that system or our service if you ever plan on canceling. Do not sign up for this service ever unless you're going to keep that monthly subscription live, which is $300 a month. That's for the software subscription for us to use the X account and for the resources to do all the updates and publishing and duplicate suppressions and real-time reviews notification to send you anytime you get a review on any of these sites, you get notified. Here's the problem. If you cancel this, Yex will submit a notification to all the directories so all your listings go back to pre-CI web group work on it status. So you lose all the work that we've done. So you don't want to start that until you're ready to start it and stick to it and it's a permanent part of what you do. 
Make yeah. sense? Okay, so don't start that unless you, you're, you're good and it's an okay part of your budget. If you're comfortable with it. All right, next. So, um, aggregators. I mean, is that, what would you call that? Which what one? Is that piece? That's local listings. So it's step number four, local listings, top 70 accounts. Step number four, local listings. Let me get you the actual page for it. Um, in the book is page 43. So everything I went over in the CRM and scheduling systems, those are 40 and 41. Step four is local directories. That's page 43. And I've made you a list of those directories inside the book as well. So if you are wanting to go one at a time through each one of them, if you wind up, if you were to go through each one of these and sign up for their paid subscriptions, it would cost you over 16 grand a month. It's probably not a good idea to do them one at a time, but a lot of them are also free. So use an agency for something like that. It's a lot easier, CRM. Okay, um, next is, and these next two things I'm going through are not in this book. This is the local listings program that's in here. First response. What am I logging into? Anybody want to guess? Three letter acronym? CRM. Yes, CRM. AOL. <laughs> My son says AOL is for dead people. <laughs> he said Yahoo's for old people and AOL's for dead people. Yeah. <laughs> We were in New York and we were staying at a hotel in Manhattan and right across is a Yahoo building. And our kids, they're 20, they were so infatuated with this building, like serious, no way, there's no way Yahoo's still in business. So, okay, now um, I'm gonna show one of our client's reports and I'm gonna go into citations. <coughs> All right, so, um, next is local aggregators. There are four aggregators. These are the names of them. An aggregator is an agency we can pay to go do submissions to a whole group of other websites. This is international. These are U.S. Um, there are up to 1,600 other directories we can submit to. This is an inexpensive way to get started out. Um, to be able, it's 500 a year, we pay them, they do all the submissions, we have to do it every single year, and we get 1,600 backlinks, it happens, it takes a year to get them all set up, and we resubmit every year. That is not in the book. That is, that's new, that's what makes our book old. <laughs> okay, that's under local listings. That is a link building activity. And the final one under local marketing is when we go after niche websites. So the 70 local directory accounts and AI devices, those are most important, um, but there's 70 accounts. Those are the highest um, domain rank, which means that they pass the greatest amount of value to your website. They basically pass strength depending on how strong the website is. So Google Maps is obviously really strong. So when we have a link from Google Maps pointing back to your website, that passes a lot of power back to your site. When you go through all the aggregators, those are weaker sites. So you have a higher volume of backlinks, but not as strong of websites. It takes more to do to get them moving. These are totally different. These are niche <clears throat> sites, which we're constantly adding to. HVAC sites, plumbing sites, mechanical sites, and we build our own. So CI HVAC, this is one of our own niche sites. When you have a website like Goodman's website with its dealer locator, that is a very strong backlinking engine because it's about HVAC. So if you have a link to your website on Goodman's website, or you have a link on CI HVAC or on Torch, because those are industry related and niche sites, those are very powerful for generating backlinks. So if you guys wanna go list just for coming to the class, it's free. You can go list your 
website on here and you gain a backlink. You can list it more than once and you gain multiple backlinks. That is absolutely um, available for you guys. We also use sites like HVAC Marketing Website. You'll see that we build backlinks into all of our sites for our customers through all of our different websites. So we'll do a post when your website goes live that says, blah, 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 this is a little information about that. Check out our new website. This is a backlink that goes to this dealer's website. These niche sites, um, these are, so if you wanna do this yourself, we've included a list and it says whether it's free or paid, you can absolutely do that or you can subscribe to it and we do it for you, either way. So this is under marketing plans, we're still on step four, and these are called citation building. <coughs> and in citation building, we have a list of plumbing websites, whether they're free or paid to submit to, a list of HVAC sites, whether they're free or paid to link to, and mechanical. So that is, Either we're doing it, you're doing it, but the list is there. The more backlinks you have pointing to the website, the more powerful your website becomes. This is part of how you get ranked in tough cities. We go after spring, you need them all. <laughs> you need all of these things for spring. All right, that's local marketing. As of right now, those are the things that we have um, that are focused on making sure that you show up in all of the local directories and niche sites. Okay. I said I'd let you guys out early, didn't I? Mm -hmm. What time are you shooting for? Right now. 3.30? Give me 15 minutes to back up? Okay. All right. So we're going to wrap up with um, a couple options. So um, one, I think personally that everyone in this room, with the exception of your business, We've covered all the things that everyone should start with. I don't think anybody should step over that. You guys are going to need the review system. I know that everyone's asking about social media. Here's a reality with social media. Um, for now, the only thing that everyone in this room needs to make sure is in place is your Facebook page needs to be professionally branded and needs to have content on a regular basis. Outside of that, Everything else is accessorial. If your website is broke, but you're focused on LinkedIn, if you're you know, trying to tweet and you don't have a page in your store for the services you wanna sell, I'm not saying that LinkedIn or Twitter or, or YouTube or any of those things are not important. What I'm saying is, is it's as important for us to say no to spending our time or our money on things that are not yet critical so that we can focus on infrastructure. We need to get the things that matter in place first. I don't wanna see somebody go spend a ton of money on something or time or energy when you don't have a page on your website that specifically says that you sell air conditioning system installation. That just doesn't logically, I can't pan that out and make it make sense. We need to cover the basics first. So um, there are things that can prevent you from doing business. Reviews in Facebook can hurt you. If you have no reviews, um, or if your Facebook account has old content or beer stance, keg stances on it, then we have a problem, right? Those things can hurt you. So we need to just make sure they're covered enough. But if one of our, if you guys call in and say, hey, we wanna start boosting and advertising on Facebook, we're gonna say no. We're gonna say not yet. We have other things we need to take care of first. Um, I think what happens with you guys is a lot of companies only have one or two things they can sell you, so they don't care if you need it or not. I think that they come and they train you and they'll say, oh, you need an AI chatbot right now, because that's the only product they have to sell, when in reality is, you don't need an AI chatbot if you don't have any traffic. What's the point? Why pay for something if there's no traffic to the site? So if you're not on page one of Google for anything and there's no traffic, you don't need a bot. You technically don't even need a call tracking number. <laughs> you don't need anything except a website focused on building the pages and getting you ranked, which is gonna start with website, link building, content, or pages, not even content yet. So it's not that I don't want to address 
specific social media things or want to address um, anything, it's not yet. Let's get the basics figured out and then keep adding, keep building on it. Does that make sense? Is that a fair answer? Don't put the cart before the horse. Yes, I just, uh, I'm an entrepreneur and everyone in our business, you'll notice they think like them. They think like entrepreneurs. Is they want to do what's best for you. They're not just trying to sell you crap. What is a Facebook ad? I've got someone that's doing this. I don't know, does it actually show up in the content or is it like some... It's on the side. So Facebook has two different elements. Um, so you have ads, which are going to show here. And you have... That's me. <laughs> That's funny. So, so if um, the way Facebook presents ads is based on a retargeting techniques, which essentially means whatever I look for, it's going to present ads based on that. You can tell if I'm shopping for shoes that day or if I'm reading SEO articles. <laughs> because whatever I'm doing on my computer, the ads that are going to show up, which it, the, the technology is called retargeting, the ads are going to be presented based on my personal usage on my computer, my social media sites, my email even. And everyone, yes. So retargeting ads is a version of pay-per-click, but it's geared towards capturing people who are already interested and you're paying per click, paying per call. So we have pay-per-call programs, we have pay-per-click programs. Again, if you talk to Mandeep, Mandeep is, he's head of our search engine marketing department and the guy's a genius. He's from India, he lives in New York City, he's a Sikh, he's coolest guy on the planet, but he's smart. I mean, he is so smart and he manages our search engine marketing department and when he shows you search engine marketing and how we go about building the landing pages and his results, it it'll make people's mouth drool because they're like, oh, it's now. I want immediate leads. And he can do that. If you talk to me, I have a problem with it because I think like an, an entrepreneur who is thinking like an investor and I want you to have all the permanent things first. Let's get the basics done. You're going to have to pause and you know, have a minute before we start doing those things. I need you to have extra cash. Um, that you can play around with pay-per-click ads. But let's get the fundamentals down first. Let's make sure you got a good website, you got pages for all the services you want to sell, that you look good when they get there, your reviews are on point. And then let's talk about some other things and do that. So um, retargeting is, is just simply to say, if you were looking for HVAC services or HVAC repair, you just hit your knee for the fourth time. If you haven't learned yet, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so if you were... <laughs> It's gonna be cut, it's gonna put a reminder up that says don't stretch your legs out because you're gonna hit your shit <laughs> because that's <laughs> obviously right in the forefront of our mind. Or if it says scoot your damn chair back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would do it too. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, now boosting is different on Facebook. Boosting is essentially if I um, have a post on my uh, page. So my Facebook is not a great, I manage a lot of Facebook pages. Yeah. <laughs> so every one of them. But if I have um, a piece of content and I want people to see it, so I posted a great ad or I'm doing a, um, a campaign word like a, for a, one of our one hour air conditioning, we did a, a thermostat giveaway mm -hmm. and it was enter to win. And so we put a boosting thing out there which says, I want to target people who have looked for these things, HVAC, HVAC repair, yeah. uh, new construction, new home buyers, their house hunting, all of these different search terms. If they've looked for any of those things, I want you to take this piece of content and present it uh, more frequently. So then it'll eat up a little bit of money. And I, I mean, that's different. You're not, you're paying for exposure. Um, Facebook is really good at taking a business page and uh, making it so people can't see it. <laughs> so you have to pay for boosting in order for them to see it. Um, so again, just not yet. Not yet. We'll get there. So it, it would be on the right side with those advertising things? 
So if it's boosting, it's going to show up in um, your main content. So if I click on home, if you boost it, it's going to show up here. So if Kathy boosted this from our Facebook page, then it would show to a larger group of our network. I think on our CI web group Facebook fan page, we have 56,000 followers. So it might show to 16% instead of 2% of those followers. Um, if it's an advertisement, it's going to show right here. Yep. Um, you guys absolutely connect with us on Facebook personally, our personal Facebook pages, not just our business page, but find Jennifer Bagley, find Kathy Marshall, find Kim, find us all. Um, it's easier to do business with when you're connected at a personal level instead of a, a friend, a, a vendor. Yeah, I mean, we post stuff all the time. It's, you know, ideas and cool stuff that we see and articles people should read and, and so forth. So then it's easy to connect and sometimes email's messy. Have we seen you on your ad help list? Yeah. Let's see here. So this is our RV. This is in Arkansas, Arkansas, Aransas, Port A. I Port A. Yes. So we went down there, and you know you can stay on the beach for twelve bucks a year. Yeah. So I posted after this. We worked down here for. We had a couple clients down in Rockport and so forth. And I posted the best thing about working from the beach is. Um, uh, the water and the sand, and the worst part is water and sand everywhere. It was horrid. There was sand in our hair, everywhere in the hole. Yeah. Um, this is one of our houseboats. This houseboat was um, Steven Spielberg uh, and his casting crew in L.A. met on this boat, and this is where they met for all the Close Encounters filming. Oh, really? Versions of filming. I started deep in our bicycles in my big fat butt seat, which I love so much. Which you've given to me so we ride fat. We ride um, something called rad bikes. They're power bikes on every speaking event. That's Wilson. Do you know? Yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. Friend. Um, that's our little one, Liz and Deep. Those are our kids. This is what we do in our spare time. So, this is the hawk's nest. That's one of our other babies. Um, this hawk's nest, if you go here right now, we've opened it up for uh, strategic strategic planning retreats where you can rent the hawk's nest and stay on it and spend three days with us, four days with us. <laughs> so, we have strategy sessions on the hawk's nest. Technically, it's a tax-deductible vacation where you can come fish with us and we can talk business for four days. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's a little bit about who we are. And our team, they're located everywhere. Jamal is here local. So, Medical City. Medical Center. Center. Medical Center. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been in 42 it's states in the last five months. <laughs> I'm confused by nature. Kim is in Lake Jackson. Miss Kathy is currently in Lake Jackson, but is on her way to Huntsville. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, it's and a long drive. Yeah, all of our meetings. So um, when our team meets with you, they're meeting from everywhere. So when you get on a meeting, you may have three or four people. Um, they will look at this, my little office. So um, they'll invite you just like this. Mindy, Kim. And... This is how they meet. So they all have virtual offices. They can see you. They can hug oh, you through the oh, phone. Oh, oh, it's going to start <laughs> echoing really loud. How are you? There it goes. There. What's up? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's, this is how it works. You can see us. You can... You can, um, you don't have to be local. You need to, I'd rather when it comes down to who you choose, sometimes everyone wants them to be in your backyard when the reality is don't let anybody waste time driving that doesn't need to. 
I'd rather have them working on my website and taking care of business and not burning time traveling to and from. Just click a button and we're online. You know, Jamal, you're too busy or what? He had to respond. Wake up that there. I see you. Oh, no, I don't see you. Turn your camera on. Oh, uh, he's eating. I have it on Oh. Mandeep. Oh, I don't have audio. You guys turn your audios off. Mute. Hey, Jennifer, can you hear me? What's up, man? Good, good. How about you? Good. Say hi to everyone. Hey, everyone. What's up? <laughs> I was just bragging about you. I tried to do my um, my best version of going over the pay-per-click pages and results that I could. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So he, Mandy, where are you at? Buffalo, New York. He's in New York. Buffalo, Buffalo New York. He said, what the hell are you doing in Buffalo, New York? Yeah, we Freezing. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they're doing. Freezing. Actually, it's yeah. nice out right now. Yeah, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty good weather here, but it's right. It's like almost six months are freezing. Six months are freezing here. It's freezing. This is one of my favorite people on the planet. All right, Mandy. Who's that? Oh, there's Jamal. So, okay. Say bye. Thank you. Bye. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so the cool part is all our meetings are recorded. Everything is documented. All calls in, out, emails, open, closed, everything um, makes it easy. So this technology is different. This is Zoom. We use this for our phone systems, our email systems, our meeting systems. We record video we use for marketing. And we have it's Zoom. Zoom. And it can be used for everything. All your phone systems are on your phone without having to have any landlines, no call, no garbage. It is so easy. I have dealers that are now using our our phone and voice systems and they are literally um, opening up meeting rooms with clients and getting virtual tours of systems just by sim simply the customer logs in to the meeting room and shows their screen and does a video camera scroll of whatever the problem is they're doing customer service customer support all via their phone and an app now all on video so we're getting there we're moving Let's fix the website so we can move to some cool stuff. All right, so tomorrow we have um, an option and it, we're, I've got my two minutes left. Here are the options for tomorrow. If you are gung-ho ready to go and you want to set up a personalized one-on-one -on -one appointment for tomorrow and not come back to the class, you can. So I know that not everybody wants to talk about everything <laughs> You want to deal with just your own you can do that and we can get you signed up with jamal kim and beverly who's also she's in dallas um get you set up for an appointment tomorrow they can help you put together your budget get signed up get started with your website help you with your domain registrar get through work through any of the issues that you might have going on and you guys can get rocking and rolling if you want to come back to class tomorrow we would go through um Review, step five, six, social media, uh, SEO, pay-per-click, and paid ads. 99% of tomorrow would be spent on SEO, um, which technically you need to have all step one through five up and running. It is totally up to you if you want to have virtual meetings tomorrow and not come into class, or if you guys want to have class. Vote. Which one would you guys like? Uh, we were gonna come. Come? Yeah. You guys? Okay. Class or or one on one? Okay. What about uh, what about you? I think we have time for the one on one. One on one? Okay. No, All right. We can do that later. Okay, perfect. So class tomorrow, good. And you guys, you're good. You guys, class tomorrow. Okay. I think we are done. Is this helpful? Yes.
Okay, fantastic. Yes. I think, are you guys class tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be here. All right. We're here tomorrow. Cool. Nine, we'll be here tomorrow. 9.15, is that going to help you guys? <laughs> no, you were here early. You beat me here. And I have a military husband. <laughs> if you're early, you're late. <laughs> if you're on time, you're late. If you're early, yes. All right.